What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the inflation numbers that just came out and also talk about what the real inflation numbers are because when you take out the substitution bias and all that other crap that the government throws in there, we have a much different number. And after that, I'm going to talk about why I am still buying physical silver. So let's do it. Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 Silver Eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a Monster Box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so first off, what is the headline inflation number? What are we dealing with right now? Here is the news release from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The All Items Index continued to accelerate, rising 8.5%. For the 12 months ending March, the largest 12 month increase since the period ending December 1981. So we have the highest inflation in over 40 years. Okay, so that's the headline number right there 8.5%. That's what the news and media outlets will be covering. They'll say inflation is 8.5%, highest in 40 years. I'm sure there'll be a hundred articles that come out today saying that. However, we know that this is not the actual number for inflation because there's a lot of shady stuff that they do to come up with this number. First off, there is the issue with substitution. If the price of steak goes up, but the price of chicken remains relatively the same, they'll assume you're just going to switch to buying chicken and not buy steak. So this inflation won't impact you too much. There also is the issue of quality they'll take a lesser quality item and use that in place of a higher quality item to come up with this inflation number so let's take a look at what the real inflation number is today this morning peter schiff tweeted out the 8.5 percent year-over-year gain in march cpi is the highest since 1981 when interest rates were 20 percent and cpi was 13.5 percent current interest rates are 0.25 percent and using the 19 1981 CPI, the year over year gain is likely 17%, with real rates negative 16.75% now versus positive 6.5% then. Inflation is here to stay. And just to put this into perspective, with the Fed only having done one quarter point rate hike so far, this is basically doing nothing to fight inflation. In stark contrast to this, back in 1981, one interest rates were 20 percent which was actually 6.5 percent above the cpi number so they're actually really trying to battle inflation i mean this is like a high interest rate credit card 20 percent can you imagine trying to finance a home with a 20 percent interest rate on your mortgage just to see what this would be like i took the median home price right now in 2022 which is 392 thousand dollars with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 20%, you'd be looking at a $6,550 per month payment just for your mortgage. I mean, who can afford that right now? This would be crazy. Lots of people would not be buying homes. They would not be taking out debt. Businesses would not be taking out debt. And yes, the whole system would immediately implode, but this would definitely have an effect on inflation. This would drive it down. Right now, they're doing basically nothing. So are they going to keep raising rates now to try and combat inflation? Well, of course they are, but they're probably only going to get up to maybe 3 or 4% before it's too much stress on the system and they have to bring rates back down they have to you know bail out the banks bail out private businesses it's going to be pretty crazy and how fast will this happen well it could happen next year the year after I don't exactly know. I don't even think they know. But I do know that with the way things are currently going, we are on a trajectory for failure. This is not going to be a good outcome. I feel like the 2020s are going to be the decade 
of shortages, the decade of inflation, and the decade of a failure on the Fed to really do anything to fix the problem. Because here's the issue. All of this inflation has to do with currency creation that's the biggest problem here they keep on expanding the money supply and they'll expand it for a while and then say oh my goodness we need to back off here and then they back off but we go right back into it it's this cycle that will continue forever until eventually the dollar dies and at that point everyone who's left holding dollars or dollar denominated assets is not gonna have a good time you french fry when you pizza you're gonna have a bad time by the way here are the real inflation numbers so the line in red is the cpi or what the government is saying the line in blue is real inflation it's at around 17 percent right now so it's definitely getting out of hand now all that being said is it possible that the whole system will crash and burn in the next few years and many people will flock to precious metals to protect themselves i mean gold and silver are considered the safe haven assets they are real wealth they are money and they're outside of the system yes of course it is possible but really there are a lot of reasons that silver could go much higher in the next few years i mean obviously low supply high demand is one of those reasons uh here is a one kilo silver coin that i recently bought i guess this is a coin can you imagine trying to spend this for 30 dollars in australia that would just be absolutely hilarious <laughs> but uh, yeah i recently picked this up it's beautiful it's awesome i love dragons i love silver but uh, the reason i bought this is actually the same reason that i bought all of my silver and that is for long-term wealth preservation now silver is not a get rich quick scheme i've said this before in many videos for me silver is a long-term thing it's all about storing wealth for decades right and eventually yes i could pass this on to my children you know will there be a huge spike in the price of precious metals along the way and could i cash out when that spike happens yes of course but that's not my primary focus if i do cash out i'm not going to sell my silver and then hold dollars i would sell my silver to buy gold or to buy land or do something like that but uh, i'm not going back into the fiat system absolutely no way so that's pretty much why i buy silver it's why i'm still buying silver today and with everything going on in the world i mean you'd really be silly not to be at least looking into precious metals right now so anyway if you do have any questions feel free to leave those down below in the comment section and i want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you all in the next one silver dragons out